Hello, and welcome to LIB 101 Library Research, my final project for EDCT 6002, Visual Literacy for Media Design. This course was designed for college-level freshmen, sophomores, or returning students at the graduate level. Its purpose is to introduce library information literacy components to help understand the beginning research process and make students more effective researchers. My video overview, or elevator pitch, was created in Animaker. It follows their suggested format for promoting an online course. It's approximately two minutes in length and introduces the course. Featured are details about general course purpose and instructor, me, as well as overview of modules and what students should expect to learn. Course delivery, online and asynchronous, is noted. Closing details invite students to contact me with questions. Here's a snippet of the video. If you'd like to see the full video, a link to it is available on my monolink for this week. My handout is an infographic. It uses the course website as a header to connect the two projects. A pathway through the course is presented. Getting started in Welcome, Module 1, Module 2, 3, and the final project, the Annotated Bibliography. As you can see, each module includes a content snippet and a corresponding image. I used the website color palette to complete the infographic. And as with the video, a link to this handout is available on my monolink. So without further ado, welcome to LIB 101 Library Research. I'll take you on a short tour of my instruction project. Created in Google Sites, it used the top menu with drop-down options. This allowed me to keep the menu options simple, and at any time, students can click on the Home icon to return to this page. The Home page presents a course introduction, instructor and course syllabus information, An overview of course modules and the final project. And a guideline for working in this online environment. Students are able to continue to see the menu even after scrolling, but I have added navigation buttons at the bottom of each page to ease movement within the modules. Getting started introduces site navigation and course details. Also included is estimated time on task, which is presented in every module, and information about the course videos. Course Instructor is next. It includes a welcome statement from me and contact information. A second link to the course syllabus is also available. This page links to announcements. I used Wakelet to pronounce announcement page. It's embedded in the site. It would work as a traditional MLS announcement page with new items displayed as needed. Next is a course calendar. 
it's also embedded. You can't see dates as they're not going to show up until May. But we'll include due dates and reminders. Returning to the welcome page. There are four modules in my course. Each one follows the same structure with activities and quick checks. Module 4 is the only one that's different. This is the one we're going to explore. Module 4 is scheduled to run for two weeks, and each activity has a corresponding quick check. This module is where learners will be using resources located in a previous activity to move forward with new skills. The main page, Introduction, connects to the previous module. Evaluating information. Module outcomes are detailed as our ACRL Information Literacy Framework. An estimated time on task is included and students can move freely between Module 1 activity, the Module 2 activity, and the Module Quick Check. Module 1. Or actually, Week 1, my mistake. During the first week, we're going to look at evaluating information and start with an introduction to the CRAP test. This activity starts with an explainer video. There is also an infographic that highlights the CRAP test, required weeding, and a link to the final activity within this module. We can listen to the introduction for the explainer video. Students may also choose to open the craft test infographic as a PDF. The module quick check first reviews the craft test and then introduces students to what they'll be doing. To complete this assessment, students will be using a discussion board. I created a Wakelet collection for this discussion. They'll open the board, then enter their name, select Add, and follow the prompts to include their discussion. Week 2 is structured in a similar way. Introducing the concept of journal types, the infographic presents needed information and is also available in PDF. I'm second-guessing my decision at this time not to include an explainer video for the journal criteria. If I were to do something different, I would develop an introduction. Another thing I would do, and it's something you'll see right now, is when you move to the quick check, there's a bit of a jump as it moves down to quick check 2. This is because I used the book link, hoping to make it simpler for learners to move from Part 2 to Quick Check 2 and not have to scroll past the previous week's Quick Check. The second evaluation is also a discussion board. They will create a new post and identify whether their journal article is scholarly, practitioner, or popular. As with the other board, they will take time to review discussion posts shared by their peers. This will allow them to learn from each other. This concludes my module tour. A link to my instruction site is available on my final project monolink. Design decisions made throughout the process are detailed in my journal. Thank you for watching my screencast. I look forward to your comments and suggestions.